Marcus, a cheerful and optimistic dwarf, felt euphoric when he was getting married to Tasha, believing he had found his true soulmate. The ceremony was a celebration of love, with Marcus fully convinced that he and Tasha were destined to build a lifetime of happiness together. When Marcus found out what was really going on, he couldn't believe it. He was convinced that it had to be a mistake. There had to be some kind of explanation for all of this, he told himself. However, as he dove into his wife's secrets, he realized that it was the truth. He was absolutely disgusted, and he knew their marriage was over. But he was not going to let her get away with this. He devised the perfect plan and took some time to put everything in place. Tasha was never going to see this coming. It would change everything, and their lives would never be the same again. But Marcus did not care. He would never forgive her for this, anyway. He still couldn't believe what she had done to him. When the day finally came and Marcus put his plan into action, Tasha burst into tears. What have you done? This is a big mistake, she yelled. But Marcus wouldn't listen. He was done. Little did he know, this was not going to be the end of their story yet. Much worse things were yet to come. But why did Tasha marry Marcus in the first place? How did he find out? And what did he do to take revenge? At first, everything seemed perfectly normal. Marcus was head over heels in love with Tasha, and their wedding and honeymoon felt like a dream. Over the next few years, Things only got better, and everything seemed absolutely perfect. The two of them built an amazing life for themselves, and Marcus had no clue at all about Tasha's secret agenda. Now that he knew she had carefully planned everything from the moment they first met, the signs were clear. He often thought back to some moments in the past that had seemed a bit odd to him, but which he had always dismissed as just a coincidence or a misunderstanding, and he was furious at himself for not having put the pieces together earlier. It could have saved him a lot of trouble. Marcus remembered how, when he received that first text message, he immediately deleted it after reading it, believing it was a scam or someone had simply sent it to the wrong number. Not even for a single second did he believe that this was a real warning a way for him to find out the truth about his wife. He quickly forgot about it and didn't even once think about it anymore. Until he received another message. The first text had said, Your wife is hiding something from you. But Marcus had dismissed this without giving it another thought. When the second message came, though, and it mentioned his wife's name, he couldn't ignore it anymore. Tasha isn't who you think she is, it said. Marcus decided to talk to her about it, still convinced that it was a mistake or some sort of prank. So, one evening, as they curled up together on the couch, he decided to bring it up. Honey, can I ask you something? he asked, and he ended up showing her the messages on his phone. Tasha just laughed it off and asked him if he really thought she was hiding something from him. You know, I tell you everything, she said. She was a very, very good liar. At this point, Marcus didn't know about his wife's hidden talents yet, and he believed her. He blocked the number that had sent him the texts, and he went on with his life, feeling that with Tasha, his life was perfect, and he had everything he ever wanted. Little did he know that something was going to change his mind soon enough. For about two weeks after that evening, everything seemed to be going well, just like it always had. Marcus was thankful for his beautiful wife every day, and he enjoyed every second they spent together. It all began to change when one day, someone who knew the real Tasha followed him when he left from work, and he made a life-changing discovery that turned his whole world upside down. Marcus was driving home, enjoying the sunny day, feeling pleased with his work at the accountancy firm. The radio played his favorite songs, and he hummed along, 
thinking about the delicious dinner Tasha might have waiting for him. The warm breeze blew through the open window, making the day feel even more perfect. He glanced at the clock on the dashboard and smiled, knowing he'd be home in time to relax before dinner. As he neared his home, Marcus noticed a car following him and grew suspicious of its intentions. He glanced in the rearview mirror repeatedly, trying to catch a better look at the driver. The car, a dark sedan, kept its distance, but matched his every turn. What's going on? He muttered to himself, feeling a knot of worry form in his stomach. His pleasant drive was now clouded by unease. Instead of heading straight home, Marcus decided to drive around the neighborhood to confirm if the car was indeed following him. He turned left, then right, passing familiar houses and parks. The dark sedan mirrored his every move, never falling out of sight. This can't be a coincidence, he thought, his heart beating faster. Marcus decided to take a few more random turns to be absolutely sure before heading home. After realizing the car was persistently tailing him, Marcus cleverly took several shortcuts to lose the follower. He sped up slightly, taking narrow, winding streets he knew well. A sharp turn here, a quick cut through an alley there. He used his local knowledge to his advantage. Eventually, he glanced back and saw no sign of the dark sedan. Breathing a sigh of relief, he made his way home, hoping the ordeal was over. Finally shaking off the mysterious car, Marcus returned home, feeling confused and unsettled by the encounter. As he pulled into the driveway, he glanced around one last time, making sure he wasn't followed. He walked into the house, trying to shake off the uneasy feeling. Hey, honey, everything okay? Tasha asked from the kitchen. Marcus forced a smile and nodded, but the strange encounter lingered in his mind casting a shadow over his evening. The next day, Marcus walked out of his office for lunch and spotted the same car parked in the lot. His heart sank as he recognized the dark sedan from the previous day. Not again, he muttered under his breath, scanning the lot for any sign of the driver. The car's presence was too much of a coincidence, and Marcus felt a surge of anxiety as he considered what to do next. Inside the car, a hooded figure wearing a cap was visibly watching Marcus, which alarmed him. The person's face was mostly obscured, but their eyes were fixed on him. Marcus's pulse quickened, and he quickly averted his gaze, pretending not to notice. He felt the weight of the stare, and knew he needed to get out of there fast. His lunch plans were now the last thing on his mind. Feeling threatened, Marcus quickly retreated back to his office, worried about his safety and his business. He hurried through the door, his thoughts racing. Why are they watching me? He wondered, glancing over his shoulder one last time before entering the building. Once inside, he locked the door and leaned against it, trying to calm his nerves. The fear and uncertainty gnawed at him as he considered his next move. Inside, he speculated that the person might be targeting him for his money or possibly for corporate sabotage. Sitting at his desk, he drummed his fingers, thinking of potential enemies. Who would want to harm me? He pondered aloud. The accountancy firm had its share of competitors, but this felt personal. Marcus couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this than just business rivalry. The mystery deepened, and so did his unease. Unbeknownst to Marcus, the mysterious follower actually wanted to reveal crucial information about Tasha. The hooded figure had been trying to get his attention, not to harm him, but to help him. Marcus, oblivious to this fact, remained on edge, convinced that he was in some sort of danger. As he tried to piece together the puzzle, he was unaware of the truth waiting to be uncovered one that would change everything. After lunch, Marcus's assistant informed him that an unknown visitor had urgently requested to see him. There's someone here to see you, Mr. Marcus. He says it's important, 
she said, looking concerned. Marcus, still on edge from the morning's encounter, hesitated for a moment. Did he say what it was about? he asked. She shook her head. No, but he insisted it couldn't wait. Marcus took a deep breath and nodded. All right, send him in. Marcus agreed to meet the stranger, who soon entered his office, and he was confused when he didn't recognize the man at all. How can I help you? he asked. The stranger, a tall man with a serious expression, closed the door behind him. You don't know me, but I've been trying to reach you, he began. Marcus frowned, trying to place the face, but it was no use. What's this about? he asked, curiosity piqued. Immediately, the stranger confronted Marcus about blocking his number. You blocked my number, he said bluntly, his eyes narrowing. Marcus's confusion deepened. Wait, you're the one who sent those texts? he asked, incredulous. The man nodded. I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. Marcus felt a mix of anger and fear. Why were you following me? What do you want? The stranger's expression softened slightly. I needed to talk to you in person. Confused, Marcus listened as the man revealed himself to be the sender of enigmatic texts about Tasha. I sent those messages because you need to know the truth about your wife, he said, his tone urgent. Marcus felt a chill run down his spine. What are you talking about? he demanded. The stranger took a deep breath. Tasha isn't who she seems. She's hiding something big, and you deserve to know the truth. The stranger, who was also the person who had followed Marcus, was desperate to share what he knew about Marcus's wife. You have to believe me, he insisted. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm trying to help. Marcus's mind raced. Why should I trust you? he asked. The man leaned forward, his eyes intense. Because I have proof, he said. Marcus hesitated, but couldn't help feeling a flicker of interest. Show me, he said. In the office, the stranger claimed that Tasha was keeping significant secrets. She's been hiding things from you, Marcus. Big things, he said, his voice steady. Marcus clenched his fists, feeling his anger rise. What kind of secrets, he demanded. The man shook his head. Things that would change everything you think you know about her. Marcus's mind whirled with possibilities, but he remained skeptical, unsure if he should believe a word this stranger said. He also insisted that she had not married Marcus out of love. She had a different reason for marrying you, and it wasn't love, the stranger stated firmly. Marcus felt a pang of hurt and disbelief. You're lying, he snapped. The man shook his head slowly. I wish I were, but I'm not. She's been using you for her own purposes. Marcus's heart pounded, anger and doubt battling within him as he struggled to process this. Angry and skeptical, Marcus demanded the man leave, and he did not want to hear anything else about this. Get out of my office, he ordered, his voice shaking with rage. The stranger raised his hands in a placating gesture. I'm just trying to help, he said. Marcus pointed to the door. I said leave, he shouted. The man sighed and turned to go, but not before giving Marcus one last searching look. However, Marcus hesitated when the man offered to show him concrete evidence, and he wondered what was really going on. Wait, Marcus called out just as the stranger reached the door. You said you have proof? The man nodded. I do, and if you give me a chance, I can show you. Marcus felt torn. Could this stranger really have evidence that would explain everything? The curiosity gnawed at him, even as doubt lingered. Conflicted, Marcus ultimately decided to engage further, driven by a need to uncover the truth. All right, he said reluctantly. Show me what you've got. The stranger turned back, a look of relief on his face. Thank you. You're making the right choice, he said. 
Marcus wasn't so sure, but he knew he couldn't let this go. He needed to know the truth about Tasha, no matter how painful it might be. The man urged Marcus to meet later that evening to fully disclose all he knew about Tasha. I can't share everything here, he said. Meet me tonight, and I'll tell you everything. Marcus hesitated, then nodded. Where? he asked. The stranger scribbled an address on a piece of paper. 8 p.m. Don't be late, he said, handing it to Marcus. I promise you'll get the answers you need. With that, the man turned and left. Although Marcus wanted more information, the man vanished before he could inquire further about his connection to Tasha. Wait, Marcus called out, but the stranger was already gone, disappearing into the bustling street. Marcus stared at the address on the paper, frustration and curiosity battling within him. Who was this man? And what did he know about Tasha? Marcus felt a growing sense of urgency, needing to understand what was really happening. Confused and troubled, Marcus returned home, spending the evening contemplating the strange and unsettling revelations. Tasha greeted him with a smile, but he couldn't shake the day's events from his mind. Everything okay? she asked, noticing his distraction. Yeah, just a lot on my mind, he replied, forcing a smile. Alone in his study, he turned the paper over in his hands wondering what secrets lay behind the stranger's cryptic words. Deciding to pursue the truth, Marcus resolved to meet the man, despite the mysterious and ominous circumstances. I have to know, he told himself, feeling a mix of fear and determination. He glanced at the clock, counting down the hours until the meeting. No matter what happens, I need to hear him out, he thought stealing himself for whatever revelations might come. He couldn't let this chance slip away. His curiosity piqued. Marcus drove to the designated meeting place that evening, eager for answers. The address led him to a quiet cafe on the outskirts of town. As he parked the car, his heart pounded with anticipation. He checked his watch. It was almost 8 p.m. Taking a deep breath, he stepped out and walked towards the entrance, hoping he was making the right decision by trusting the stranger. Marcus arrived at the cafe, finding the man, Chris, already waiting at a secluded table. The cafe was dimly lit, and Chris's serious expression made Marcus's stomach churn. As he approached, Chris gave a slight nod, gesturing for him to sit. You made it, Chris said. Marcus, still wary, took a seat across from him. The tension in the air was palpable, and Marcus's mind raced with questions about what Chris had to say. Introducing himself, Chris revealed he was Tasha's ex-boyfriend, showing a photo of them together from years past. I'm Chris, and this is me with Tasha, he said, sliding the picture across the table. Marcus stared at the image, recognizing a younger Tasha with Chris. Why are you showing me this? Marcus asked, his voice tinged with irritation. Chris sighed. Because you need to know who she really is, he replied, his tone serious. Initially dismissing Chris as a jealous ex, Marcus stood to leave, uninterested in manipulative games. This is just some ex-boyfriend drama, he said, pushing back his chair. I'm not interested. Chris reached out trying to stop him. Wait, it's not what you think, he insisted. Marcus shook his head, his patience wearing thin. I don't have time for this, he said, turning to walk away, but Chris's next words made him pause. Chris persisted, urging Marcus to reconsider and listen to the truth about his life and marriage. Marcus, please, you need to hear me out, he said, his voice earnest. This isn't about jealousy. It's about something much bigger. Marcus hesitated, his back to Chris. Why should I believe you? He asked, not turning around. Because your life depends on it, Chris replied. The gravity of his words made Marcus's anger give way to curiosity. 
Reluctantly, Marcus sat back down, prepared to hear out Chris, despite his growing anger and skepticism. All right, I'm listening, Marcus said, crossing his arms. Chris nodded, grateful for the chance to explain. I know this is hard to believe, but Tasha has been hiding things from you, he began. Marcus's jaw tightened. You'd better have proof, he warned. Chris took a deep breath, ready to share everything he knew, hoping Marcus would understand. Resuming their conversation, Chris earnestly explained his intentions were to help, not harm Marcus. I know how this looks, Chris said, leaning forward, but I'm not here to hurt you. I'm trying to help you see the truth. Marcus eyed him warily, still unsure. Why would you help me? he asked. Chris sighed. Because I've been in your shoes. I know how it feels to be deceived by someone you love. You deserve to know. Overwhelmed by emotion, but still curious, Marcus listened as Chris presented undeniable evidence. Here, look at this, Chris said, opening his laptop. Marcus's hands trembled slightly as he watched Chris navigate through folders filled with files. These are messages between Tasha and her accomplices, Chris explained. Marcus's heart pounded, each click bringing him closer to a reality he wasn't ready to face. He leaned in, unable to tear his eyes away from the screen. Texts, photos, and documents displayed on Chris's laptop painted a clear and shocking picture. Marcus read through the texts, his eyes widening in disbelief. Photos showed Tasha in places she had never mentioned, with people Marcus had never seen. Documents outlined plans that contradicted everything she had told him. This can't be real, Marcus whispered, shaking his head. Chris looked at him sympathetically. I wish it wasn't, he said softly. But this is the truth. Realizing the depth of the deception, Marcus was forced to accept the painful truth about Tasha. He felt a wave of nausea as the reality of the situation hit him. She lied to me, he said, his voice breaking. Chris nodded. Yes, and I'm sorry you had to find out this way, he replied. Marcus's mind raced, memories of their life together now tainted by betrayal. The truth was unbearable, yet impossible to deny. The evidence left Marcus convinced and shattered altering his perception of his marriage forever. He closed the laptop, his hands shaking. I don't know what to do, he admitted, feeling lost. Chris placed a hand on his shoulder. Take your time. This is a lot to process, he said gently. Marcus nodded, tears welling up in his eyes. His world had been turned upside down, and nothing would ever be the same again. Distraught. Marcus thanked Chris for the revelation and left to process the information alone. Thank you, Marcus said, his voice trembling. Chris nodded, understanding the gravity of the moment. Take care of yourself, he replied softly. Marcus walked out of the cafe, the weight of the truth pressing down on him. He needed time to think, to understand the full impact of what he had just learned. His world, had been irrevocably changed. Before confronting Tasha, Marcus composed himself, ensuring he approached the situation calmly. He sat in his car, taking deep breaths and trying to steady his emotions. I can't lose it now, he muttered to himself. He knew that confronting Tasha with anger wouldn't get him the answers he needed. Marcus decided to gather his thoughts and plan his approach carefully. He needed to be in control when he finally faced her. That night, in a conversation before bed, Marcus subtly tested Tasha's honesty by asking her if she knew anyone named Chris. Hey, have you ever known anyone named Chris? He asked casually, watching her reaction closely. Tasha looked surprised, but quickly masked it with a smile. No, why do you ask? She responded. Marcus felt a pang of doubt, sensing something was off. Her answer didn't sit right with him. 
Tasha was silent a little too long before answering that, no, she did not, and Marcus knew she was lying. The hesitation was enough to confirm his suspicions. Are you sure? he pressed gently. Tasha nodded, her eyes avoiding his. Yes, I'm sure, she said, but Marcus could hear the uncertainty in her voice. He felt his heart break a little more, realizing the depth of her deception. The trust between them was shattered. Feeling betrayed, Marcus plotted his next steps, focusing on confronting Tasha directly and decisively. He couldn't let this continue without addressing it head on. I need to know the whole truth, he thought, anger and determination building within him. He decided to plan a confrontation, one that would leave no room for lies. Marcus knew it was going to be difficult, but he was ready to face whatever came next. In a mix of heartbreak and anger, Marcus planned a dramatic confrontation during their upcoming anniversary dinner. He needed a moment where Tasha would be least expecting it, where her guard would be down. Our anniversary dinner will be perfect, he thought, a bitter smile crossing his face. He envisioned the scene, every detail designed to catch her off guard and force her to face the truth. It was time to end the lies. Pretending everything was normal, Marcus invited Tasha to a fancy restaurant, masking his true intentions. I've booked us a special place for our anniversary, he said, smiling. Tasha beamed, completely unaware of what was coming. That sounds wonderful, she replied, excitement in her voice. Marcus nodded, keeping his tone light and cheerful. Inside, his heart ached with the weight of what he was about to do. But it had to be done. The evening was set. They dressed elegantly, presenting the image of a perfect, loving couple. Marcus wore his best suit, and Tasha looked stunning in a beautiful dress. As they arrived at the restaurant, they received admiring glances from other patrons. We look great together, Tasha said, smiling at him. Marcus forced a smile in return. Yes, we do, he replied, his voice steady despite the turmoil inside. The stage was set for the confrontation. Throughout dinner, Marcus's facade hid his inner turmoil and contempt towards Tasha. He laughed at her jokes and made casual conversation, all while feeling a storm of emotions brewing inside him. This is it, he thought, watching her every move. Tasha seemed blissfully unaware, enjoying the evening and the attention. Marcus's heart pounded with each passing minute, knowing the moment of truth was drawing closer. He had to stay composed until the right time. Unbeknownst to Tasha, Marcus was poised to unveil his knowledge of her betrayal in a dramatic reveal. He watched her closely, noting every smile and laugh, each one feeling like a knife to his heart. She has no idea, he thought, his resolve hardening. As the evening progressed, Marcus rehearsed his words in his mind, preparing for the moment he would confront her. The deception would end tonight, and Tasha would finally face the truth. As dinner neared its end, Marcus feigned excitement about a special surprise for Tasha. I have something for you, he said his voice full of false enthusiasm. Tasha's eyes lit up with curiosity. Oh, what is it? she asked, leaning in. Marcus reached into his jacket and pulled out a small envelope. Happy anniversary, my love, he said, handing it to her. Tasha took it, her fingers trembling with anticipation, completely unaware of its contents. Tasha's anticipation grew as Marcus presented her with an envelope suggesting a romantic gesture. You always know how to surprise me, she said, her smile wide. She carefully opened the envelope, expecting a heartfelt note or perhaps tickets to a romantic getaway. Marcus watched her closely, his heart pounding. I hope you like it, he said, struggling to maintain his composure. Tasha's eyes sparkled with excitement as she pulled out the contents. 
Her smile faded to shock as she opened the envelope to find divorce papers instead of a love letter. What is this? she stammered, her hands shaking. Marcus's expression turned cold. It's over, Tasha. I know everything, he said, his voice firm. Tasha's eyes widened in disbelief as she stared at the papers. The reality of the situation began to sink in, and she looked up at Marcus, searching for any sign of compassion. The realization of Marcus's knowledge and the finality of their relationship dawned on Tasha. You, you know? She whispered, her voice breaking. Marcus nodded. Yes, I know about you and Chris. I know everything, he replied, his gaze unwavering. Tasha's face crumpled, the weight of her actions crashing down on her. She understood that there was no way out, no more lies to hide behind. The end of their marriage was now painfully clear. Overcome with emotion, Tasha's reaction ranged from disbelief to despair as the truth was laid bare. Marcus, please, let me explain, she pleaded, tears streaming down her face. Marcus shook his head. There's nothing to explain. It's too late, he said, his voice tinged with sadness and anger. Tasha sobbed, clutching the divorce papers. I never wanted to hurt you, she cried, but Marcus's resolve remained firm. It's over, Tasha, he said quietly. Chris had told Marcus that he and Tasha had planned for Tasha to marry Marcus so that they could steal his money. It was all a scheme, Chris had said. We thought you were an easy target. Marcus had listened in disbelief, anger rising within him. The betrayal cut deep. He had been nothing more than a pawn in their cruel game. Marcus's mind whirled as he pieced together the extent of their deception. Over time, Tasha truly fell in love with Marcus and ditched Chris and their plan. I couldn't go through with it, Tasha had admitted tearfully during one of their arguments. I fell in love with you, Marcus. That's the truth. Despite her initial intentions, she claimed that her feelings had become genuine. Marcus remembered how she had tried to convince him of her love, but the damage had already been done. Trust was shattered. Despite her eventual genuine feelings for Marcus, her initial betrayal was something he could not overlook. Love doesn't erase betrayal, Marcus had said, his voice cold. Tasha's eyes had filled with tears, but he remained unmoved. You lied from the start. How can I ever trust you again? He had asked. The weight of her actions loomed large, overshadowing any love she professed. Marcus knew he couldn't continue living a lie. Leaving Tasha devastated in the restaurant, Marcus walked out to meet Chris for a beer, feeling a mix of liberation and betrayal. The fresh air hit him like a jolt, clearing his mind. I need to move on, he thought. As he walked towards the bar, he felt a strange sense of relief. Tasha's cries echoed in his mind, but he pushed them away. It was time to reclaim his life, free from deceit. Their meeting signified the start of a new chapter for Marcus, free from deception and built on newfound truths. Sitting across from Chris, Marcus raised his beer. To moving forward, he said clinking glasses with his former enemy. Chris nodded, acknowledging the fresh start. Marcus felt a sense of closure. The past was painful, but it was behind him now. He looked ahead, determined to build a future based on honesty and integrity. The divorce proceedings were swift, with Marcus eager to close this painful chapter of his life. He wanted to move on, to put the betrayal and hurt behind him as quickly as possible. His lawyer handled most of the details, and Marcus signed the papers without hesitation. It's finally over, he thought, feeling a sense of relief wash over him. The marriage that had started with so much promise was now just a painful memory. Having seen Tasha's true colors, Marcus's interactions with her were curt 
and focused solely on finalizing their separation. Let's just get this done, he said during their final meeting. Tasha, looking defeated, nodded silently. There were no more pleas for forgiveness, no more attempts to explain. Marcus kept his emotions in check, speaking only when necessary. Each encounter was a reminder of the lies and deceit that had destroyed their relationship. Throughout the ordeal, Chris provided support and insight, helping Marcus navigate the aftermath. You did the right thing, Chris said one evening over drinks. It's better to know the truth, even if it hurts. Marcus appreciated the solidarity, finding comfort in Chris's presence. They spent many evenings talking through the past and planning for the future. Chris's honesty and friendship became a crucial part of Marcus's healing process, guiding him through the darkest moments. As their friendship solidified, Marcus found solace and companionship in Chris, moving past his former heartache. I never thought we'd end up friends, Marcus admitted, laughing. Chris shrugged, smiling. Life is strange like that, he replied. The two of them forged a bond built on mutual respect and shared experiences. Marcus realized that, despite the pain, he had gained something valuable. A true friend. With Chris by his side, he felt ready to face whatever came next. You like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.